capitals, you guys, it means loud. When it's, under, when it's underlined, it means loud. There's no interpretation in these scripts. When there's a dot, 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 it means pause. And the only other clue I'll give you is that sometimes when there's a three, you want to build. So are you, they're doing this? Are they doing this? Are they doing this? Okay, so those are the, let's just try a dry run. And then Ron's going to give you comments and I'll give you some more. <laughs> so anytime, and you're starting with Beastie. Shrieky, has she been eaten by a hippopotamus? Carried off by a buzzard? Stomped into mulch? Uh, what? She's coming to visit? Oh, that's bad. I, I mean, that's good. Oh, because bad is good to us. <laughs> Shrieky, oh, how nice to, to hear your voice again. Don't try to butter me up, you fang tooth pig. Get my bags. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Uncle No Heart. Uh, will you will you be staying long? Who can stay more than a day in this place without catching a cold? There's no swimming pool, no television set, and it's so far in the bathroom it makes me want to. Oh no! Shriek. <laughs> Pick up everything and follow me. Oh, I can't wait to make trouble for those candy-colored bears. I think I'll take your room. Uh, oh, oh. I can I stop there? That's probably lunch, right, Ron? Yeah. Okay, so what do you got? So give me a hand. That was a great one. That was really great. Well, first of all, was, was that part of your voice? Like, where you were going with that? Because that's the other thing with voice acting. If you're going to do a part, make sure you can kind of sustain the character throughout. So just give me a line of your voice again. Uh, there. Uh, your last bag. Okay, that was really good. And um, what I'd love to see is like a little more kind of shape and color. So like you're kind of doing this and it's really good and you're reading along, but kind of even kind of go up sometimes and kind of get up here and then kind of bring it down way down there. And, um, uh, but you're doing, doing great. I loved your girl. I loved your shrieky. <laughs> that was really good. good. So give me that laugh. <laughs> Perfect. And that is your reference. That's your hook. So, <laughs> and then you can go into character from there. You're doing great. Uh, okay, I got some notes for Shrieky. Okay. Um, who can stay more than a day in this place? Can we get that up on the screen? Who can stay more than a day in this place? This is the blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you see there's no swimming pool. There's no some thumb thumb. That's two. And no, blah, blah. It makes me want to. So you want to build that even more. So it's, there's none this. There's not this. And there's not this. Okay? Try that. And there's another bill for Beastly, too, right off the top in the script. Try those bills. Let's just try those. Um, the top is, has she been stomped in, her last line is stomped into mulch, whatever it is. Did you understand what she said? So there's three bills. So, it's a, so, so what's his first one? Mulch. Yeah, has she, buzzard, mulch. Yeah, so it's hippopotamus, buzzard, stomped into mulch. And the other thing I want to give you this time around is question marks. Question marks in animation are, for once, another purpose, are always up. They're always, what? Huh? I don't know. Did you? You know, it's all of that. And every exclamation mark is an exclamation mark. Because these are written so that actors read them very quickly. There's no interpretation. They're already done. All the subtext is already done. Okay? And, and just one last thing. And do you know when I was reading Beastly? I kind of threw in the odd, oh, <laughs> a little laugh, exertion, you know. So uh, in your character, kind of, uh, you guys are reading it and you guys are doing great. It's a cold read. You're reading it for the first time. But feel free to kind of, in character, kind of um, um, give it a little something to make it your own. Okay, well, Okay, so technique just before you go. So you're going to leave little characters, the three builds, right? Yeah. And what was the last one? Question marks, question marks and exclamation marks, okay? So just try those three things, okay? Let's try it at the top. Shrieky? Has, has she been eaten by a hippopotamus? Carried by a buzzard? Stomped into mulch? Uh, what? She's coming to visit. Oh, that's bad. I mean, that's good. <laughs> oh, because good is bad to us. <laughs> Shrieky! Oh, how nice to hear your voice again. I... Don't try to bite me up, you fang tooth pig. Oh. Get my bags! Oh. Uh, oh. Uncle Noir! Uh, will you be staying long? Who can stay more than a place in this day without catching cold? There's no swimming pool, no television set, and it's so far from the bathroom, it makes me wanna... Oh no! 
Ooh. Shriek. <laughs> Pick up everything and follow me. Oh, I can't wait to make trouble for those candy-colored Care Bears. <laughs> and I think I'll take your room. Oh, oh, oh. Good, <laughs> okay, good, come on. Okay, so we're going to talk about the happy people that they came So, um, I just want to do two lines with you, if you, if you don't mind. I want to do your three, your third. Start lower and go higher on your hippopotamus. Has she been the little hippopotamus? Halala, halala, what? Just do that for me. Shrieky. Has she been eaten by a hippopotamus? Lower. Has she been eaten by? Has she been, has she been eaten by a hippopotamus? Carried off by a buzzard? Louder. S stomped into mulch? Louder. Go what? Isn't there a what? Do it again, and make each okay. one louder. Try again. Shrieky, has she been eaten by a hippopotamus? Carried by, off by a buzzard? Stomped into mulch? A what? Yes, see how that is? Give him a hand. Okay, thank you very much.